tonight. I just could, just because I know it's important to everyone here and important to the public as well. Can you explain the decision not to offer the public visibility on this meeting? It's it's tradition for the press to be brought in when the president speaks to the speaker. Then. No, I'm, look. Not all the time. The president has had many conversations, one-on-one -on -one conversations with member of Congress. Totally understand. I get the question and understand uh, why there is interest in this. But we have done it many times before where we've had private one-on-one. -on -one. Speaker, Speaker uh, McCarthy is, is welcome to go to the sticks uh, after the meeting and take your questions. We, we welcome that if that is something that he wishes to do. Thanks, Karim. A couple weeks ago when the mayors were in town, the president said he looked forward to an honest debate with Republicans on entitlements. Uh, the House Speaker on Sunday on Face the Nation was asked if he uh, was going to propose cuts to Medicare and Social Security, and he said no. He said he would take that off the table. He was asked completely, and he said yeah. So is it your sense, is it the sense here that the House Speaker's not being honest when he says that? I, I think it's more of like there are some facts out there, right, that we can easily point to, like this administration can point to. And I think I did a little bit of that last time. So they've been very vocal. Uh, and uh, they've been very clear. And so what we're going to do is we're going to stand up for the American people, fight for the American people, and protect... Setting entitlements aside for a moment, one of the other things that Republicans are saying is that there ought to be a reduction in discretionary spending. Uh, is that something the president is in any way open to, or will he put forward a budget on March 9th that increases discretion? So I'm not going to get into get ahead of the president, right? As you saw from our memo yesterday, the president's going to have his budget on March 9th. Uh, he is calling and asking, right, the speaker to put forward his budget as well, so the American people can see uh, what it is that they're thinking about, what it is that. I understand that, and you guys have made that abundantly clear repeatedly. I'm saying, are you closing? Can you close the door on any other alternatives than Congress? fulfilling their constitutional obligation. Look, what I'm saying is we've been very clear about when we've been asked if there's going to be negotiate, if there's room for negotiations, we have said this should be done without uh, any conditions. We should, there shouldn't be a way to go around this to get this done. This is something that Congress should act on. Lowering the deficit and that being a top priority for this president and has been throughout the last two years, he is willing and happy to have a good faith conversation with anybody who wants to talk to him about ways to do that. And that's why he's been able to, in the last two years, we've talked about it, I just mentioned it, in record fashion, $1.7 uh, trillion, which is the largest decline in American history. That's what the president has been on. And I'll come back. Uh, would the White House be open to an appropriations deal that also takes care of the debt limit, or would that, in your view, be negotiating on it in some way? Well, we said, I'm, again, without conditions. This should be done and lifted without conditions, uh, and that would be uh, a, a way to get around of doing their constitutional duty. So I'll just leave it there. So just so I understand correctly, he is opposed to any cuts to Medicare and Social Security, including changes to eligibility. He's open to other spending reductions over the medium term, including potentially defense? Uh, I want to be very careful here because what the president has been very clear about is what is their plan? He wants to see their plan as it relates to the budget, right? The, so the president is going to put out his budget on March 9th. You guys will all get to see that. Uh, and so we want to see what their plan is. Uh, I'm not going to, to get ahead of that particular piece when it comes to uh, the budget. I mean, you're trying to put the debt ceiling aside, and I, I hear you. Does he want a fiscal reform deal aside from that? Like, does the president want a deal? Well, with he wants himself? to see what what is their what is what are they putting forth? Uh, what is their idea of uh, dealing with the with fiscal right fiscal uh, priorities? What does that look like for them? And we've been very clear when it comes to the debt limit. It should be done without conditions. We've been very clear, and we should not hold those two programs and others, not just that, hostage, right? Been very, very clear about that. 